few seconds. Oh! Oh no. Something here. Yep. The Dems are like, did you sleep all right? No. Cold? Not good. I was pretty cold too. Hectic. Looks like a little bit of rain might be coming. Hopefully not, but... Just some cloud over there on the line. You gonna cast for a GT or what? Probably just cast on this beach, like I said. They come in, it's pretty shallow, but like, I casted from the, the actual beach like that, so it must have been about the same tide. This time of day, we'll have a cast, see what we get, eh? Oh, it must have washed up. The water was really high last night. I could hear it going I'm pretty sure there was like fish like right here going Shark. Trout sharks, yeah. Bite, you will be pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> oh, well, at one stage I thought I could feel something hit touching my butt while I'm sleeping. You. <sighs> Good morning. Let's get ready. You have to cast in the morning if you get up early. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it's wasting the best time of fishing pretty much. You got the big splasher on, eh? No small fish. 60 gram chaser. Vadim's got like an 80 gram splasher or is that 60 gram splasher? 80 gram. We're gonna have a, a dig just from here. Not going up to the tip this morning. Today's a bit of a chill day. Hang around here. You ready? Big red bass, eh? Hey? Where did you see the GT? Up on the corner. Oh, something, was that something behind your lure? No? Yeah, it's all about timing if they all, if there's a pack of them coming past when you're casting, I guess, eh? Hey? Timing is everything. Oh, I got hit. Something hit. Yep, bro, right, come on. Yep, a good fish. Oh. oh, feels good. Good for this tackle. I don't know what this is. There's reef here, eh? Come in. I think there's reef. Whoa, we got something. What is this? Bro. Oh, what? Really dark bluefin. Look at the cut. Oh, it's got a remora on it. That's crazy. <laughs> Beautiful little remora on him. Oh, he's gone. I want to put him back on. There you go. For the size of that bluefin, kind of like smoked him in. He's decent size for this tackle too. But yeah, maybe I've just got like that energy from the GT yesterday and was just not letting anything take anything. So just kind of smoked him in. But yeah, we're gonna get some nice shots of this guy and we'll get him back. You Beautiful fish. Straight in the morning, straight off the beach. Sunrise session. We'll get him back in. Catch and release, mate. Sixty gram chaser gets that bluefin. We released him, and the underwater camera ran out of battery just as it swam off. Like timing impeccable. Dun -dun. Round two. When you're not ready, everything's everywhere. <laughs> Hit. Redim's getting lit up, up there. Might be last cast for me. Big toilet session coming up. Go closer to the reef. This is danger zone right here. All right, cool, one bluefin. Cavi's gonna go do a P double O somewhere. This also turned off the other day when I jumped in the water. 
turned itself off, it ran out of battery. See? So I'm not lying, it turned off. Battery ran out just on the release. But now it says 13%. What? GoPro, you tripping. Looks like it's about last coffee for these um these filters though. Yeah. <laughs> Huge rest day today, just chill, but I think it's gonna get so hot in this area, we're gonna have to find some shade. If we see bust ups, we're gonna cast. It's kind of more like that, not just like standing at a spot casting for hours and hours. It's more like if we see something happening, we're gonna then go for it. So we had that nice fish this morning and yeah, now we're just kind of cruising. I flew the drone up for a bit, got some really nice scenery shots so a few turtles didn't see as many gts as yesterday on the drone but i was kind of focusing on getting the scenic shots so then maybe that's why and yeah now we're just having breakfast you <laughs> see you guys in a minute oh, i'll see you in a second actually this could be a little baby chicken coming out <laughs> Fresh. Yeah. For me, it's good enough. Thank you, sir. For them, just whipped up a fruit salad. Oh, a couple. Might give us some vitamins to heal up a bit. Feel fresh. Actually, looks good. Tropical fruits. Cheers. <laughs> it's actually kind of luxury instead of a muesli bar. Fruit <laughs> salad and coffee, and a fish in the morning. You. <laughs> So we had a few casts on the beach, didn't get anything too exciting. It's actually not that much fish activity today and it's windy out there. I don't know if you can hear that. So I think what we're going to do is try and eat up most of our like food, get some energy for the afternoon big fish hunt. And I think that's the plan. Oh so yeah, there's a the wind. Oh, it's howling. Oh. <laughs> Cucumber like this is good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, maybe like Ready, hot? No. Oh. These kidney beans are actually good. Oh, I got hit. I don't know what that was. Probably a long time. I was sitting at camp and there was something moving up here. I didn't see where it went when I came back. I'm gonna start packing up some stuff that we don't need. Cause we only have this afternoon. Let's go. This is my pack. I finished packing. <laughs> Yesterday's fight with that GT, my leader needs a whole new retire. It's great. It's actually unbelievable that I landed that fish with how much line was in the reef. And I can see abrasion on my main PE line too, so we've got to cut some stuff off here for sure. But that's the lure that did the damage. Now I don't know if all those marks are from the same fish or it's definitely teeth marks on the top of the lure so it could have had like multiple fish attack it 70 gram floating ripple sick Ew. the other good thing about sitting here is if we do see something we can quickly grab a rod and start casting so i have to just going to be like looking scanning the water oh fish you see that just jumped out right here doof, doof. But Jim's got premier seats, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's prime, eh? Optimus Prime view. 
I can see a long time from here on the sandy bit, just cruising slowly. Durka Durka, eh? You got a bit of sun in here though. Mm -hmm. That's not amazing. <laughs> My one's fully blocked from the sun. I got no sun on me in there. I guess because half of it's like a cocoon. Alrighty. Getting ready to go for a fish. There's a few long times sitting on the back of this reef here. But Em's going to have a cast. Let's see if he gets one. They're going to be all over it. You ready? I cast to the left, just to the left. There's something there. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And there's something else there. Like, go again, but a little bit more to the left this time. Oh! There's one like sitting on the surface. It's more dark than the other ones. Maybe in the middle of just a white. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's something there. Oh! It got scared. I don't know what that one's doing, the other one, but it's on the surface there. He took that. Oh, you got a goatee. Oh, he reefed ya. Oh, goatfish reefed ya. Look how colourful, bro. They're so beautiful, man. That's the most choppo looking fish you can get, eh? The blue on his tail. Woo! Over the edge. Sure, this one's like full love heart. Ew. For them, the goat fish master. You got a bunch of them, eh? Yeah, maybe like three. We found some green tea in one of my bags from Japan. For has gone and made green tea with lemon. We kind of feel like we're living the high life right now. Between the hot exhaustion death feeling to in a cool breeze in the shadows, looking at perfectly clear water. Every now and then a blue fin will swim past and we won't be quick enough to cast the line. So it's hello and goodbye. <laughs> when that sun moves down a bit more and the tide gets a bit lower, we can get to the ledge lord ledge. There's a nuts. So that's what we're prepping for. Ew. What do you think? Feeling hungry again. Yeah. Ugh. Hungry from all that getting up and casting at long times, eh? Yeah. Caught a pretty nice goatfish just before, actually. Have a sip. Cheers. Your one looks different to this one. Because it's a different bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, different, <laughs> different bag. Not, not fresh. I mean, like, yeah. color not fresh. Maybe it's better, though. Yeah. I can smell yours. It's stronger for sure. Oh, we'll see which one dies first. Redeem or me. <laughs> Maybe I didn't put green tea in those bags. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh. That's nice though, refreshing. Yeah, for sure, nice yeah. like in super hot. Yeah, like. that's what I was about to say. <laughs> Even though it is really hot, it's still refreshing. Cheers. Thinking you're gonna get something? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the experience of a deep water GT with that current? Yeah. Look at it going. Enjoy. Have fun catching GT when your arms get pulled off and almost fall into the water and drown. <laughs> That's raging out there, eh? Deja vu. Do you have deja vu? Where it feels like you're living the same thing. Or like you've been there before, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a weird feeling and then sometimes they keep it keeps going and going. Yeah, it's a really weird feeling at that moment when you realise, oh, I'm having deja vu, but and then it just keeps going. And you're like, what is going on? Anyway, it looks really exciting out right here. Are you ready? Monster GTs. My drag's not set. That's too strong. 
Man, that was big and black. This is scary. Get ready, man. That was huge. That were bigger than the ones yesterday. We just missed them by like a few seconds. Oh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Oh, it's a blue fin, it's all good. Easy. Easy, bro. Beautiful one. First cast. He's pretty green because, um, green means like energetic because I thought he was a GT and basically just smoked him in. Woo! Splasher, 80 gram, diving popper. Beautiful bluefin. One of the most beautiful fish in the ocean. Gonna get him back right now. Let's go, buddy. Splash, 80 gram. Let's get back out there. There's big GT. I can't even begin to explain what just went down, but similar to yesterday, we weren't even ready to fish really. Like we we're just taking a break yesterday, but today we only just got here. I was contemplating flying the drone up. I realized it's way too windy up there. It's actually howling, so that wouldn't work. And then we're just talking, looked out, and anywhere from 30 up to 60 kilo GTs just went boom, like absolutely crazy. Grabbed my stuff, tried to set the drag in case we hooked up. Hooked up at the ledge and afford that bluefin, poor bluefin on heavy GT gear. <laughs> but yeah, last session, let's go. I was just saying to Vadim that the most hip hips I've had here is when it looks like this. Oh, whirlpooly and crazy. Boom. Look at it. Ew. That was the first cast ever on the Miracle Color Splash. Oh yeah, that would have been pretty good for setting the hook on a big GT. I was kind of scared if it was too heavy because I like was running and went crank, crank. I wasn't expecting that to be a little bluefin though. And it was perfect. If that was a huge GT, it was right here. Yes! What happened? Busted! Oh, that's unlucky, bro. You gotta tie a new knot and make sure it's really tight. Broke your leader, bro. No. Oh! Bro! It's a monster! It's a monster! It's a monster! Absolute monster! Different one, silver one, still good. Oh, there was a black one behind it, like two times bigger. Woo! Oh, nice, healthy, 
tell the GT, bit out of breath. The one behind this was two times bigger, black. I thought I had that. This guy's croaking, he wants to go back. Woo! Hopefully that was good, he was really healthy. This is actually perfect here. Car running. Smooth, yeah. Yeah, smooth and running yeah. into his gills, amazing. Woo! GoPro man, you guys suck big time. Another fail. I was just telling you, Vadim, about how many fails. And this GoPro just keeps shutting off every time I film with it. Man, what a piece of poo. Brand new battery and everything. Luckily, I filmed that GT release on my head cam, but obviously underwater's way better. I think I was on rocks for a second, eh? Oh, yeah, one touch. Only one little bit down near the lure. I'll chop that off. We'll get back out there because it feels like it could be chaos this afternoon. Woo! Everything's tying a new leader. Got a new stick bait because he got smoked. <laughs> I was screaming monster in that video and it wasn't a monster, but there was a monster out there for sure. I just didn't get that one, but it was still a good fish. So we're going to try again. Third time lucky with the splash, 80 gram. Oh, that's locked. Always check your drag. Well, oh, it's still locked. What? I had that drag so tight, bro. Uh, it should be good. Oh wait, your line's out there somewhere, right? Eh? How fast for- Oh! Bro, they're everywhere out here today. I just got hit, I wasn't even concentrating. Dude. Why is today different to every other day? I give it a little bit of a break, see if they can reset and come back. Yeah, I'm dark, could be psycho! Yee! <laughs> Man, you missed your opportunity. You, and the best thing about it, it hit you over there. So you had all this time to fight it. Oh, bummer. I want to see him get another opportunity and get it. I was saying even a 15 or 20, he's like, even a 10. <laughs> Let's get you a GT, just not a bluefin. I almost don't even want another one. <laughs> so aggressive when they hit, eh? Yeah. Need third one. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Oh, bro. That's a big one. It's one of those monsters. It's one of those monsters. Oh, my God. This could be serious. Please. I think this is proper. What do you think about this one? <laughs> I'm feeling like it's a big one though. I, oh, I come down. My line, I got a lot of line out. Oh bro, not good, not good. 
quick we go run Look at it. It's, it's an absolute joy. I need help here. Grab his tail, bro. Ready? Lift. Lift. No. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> That's a monster. That's a monster, bro. Give it here. Woo. I can't risk losing this one. All right, we need to focus, though. We've got to get this fish back. He's really exhausted. He's going to kick really hard in a second. I'm going to probably fall off the ledge. Absolute giant. I don't want to keep this guy out of the water long. We're going to get him back in as fast as we can, but that's a huge fish. Look at that. Oh, ginormous. We're letting this guy rest. We've got really strong current here. I'm about to get swept off these rocks. I don't really want to go down there. We're going to go for one more hold up of this amazing fish. He's breathing right here, really healthy. And we can get him back. Yeah, that's as good as you get him, man. He's really heavy, this guy. Beautiful. Oh, I want to get him back. Wow. Woo man, three fish. I've never landed one out here before on this trip. Amazing lure. 80 gram splash in a miracle color. <laughs> Thanks heaps. Woo! Crazy fight. Yeah, I wasn't feeling comfortable for some reason in that fight. But I was there, here, there, <laughs> over there. I thought, like I know that was a big fish and I'm stoked with that, but when I first saw the bow wave, <laughs> I thought it was like 80 kilos or something. Yeah. <laughs> I truly was not expecting to get another one. I thought, okay, that's it. It's shut down. Not going to get another one. You know, every time you hook a fish here, my immediate reaction is just to call it a monster anyway, because every fish here feels like a monster. Yeah, a 10 kilo one in here would feel like a 30 kilo one. Last cast of the trip. Unless I actually don't want to hook one, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> Done. Woo! This rod is actually sick. 84 GT. I'm running PE6 on this so I can cast really far. Vadim was saying because we bought Mr. Whippy, why did we get all that yeah, action? Yeah. It means like if you bring like extra ultra light take here, so it will be like a lot of big fish so if you want to get big hookups just, just bring, bring it wider rod yes. yeah one ultra light mr whippy and then the gt will come you don't have to fish with it just bring it with you <laughs> all right p10 rod work the charm so strong so good with the splash 
80 gram diving popper miracle color the luckiest lure i've ever used in my life actually because of this spot so losing must you must get this for your lure <laughs> like not even because I want to sell it. You just should get it because and then you're going to actually get fish. It's getting really dark now very quickly. The sun's gone down. So we need to make it back to camp. Big pack up. Last dinner here. So I'll see you guys back at camp, eh? Yeah. We need to take a note on all the trip, like all these details. The moon, the tides, like everything. Because there was obviously something special about this day. Woo! That is so beautiful. Well, that's our moon, yeah. and that's our star. The colors fading too. Yeah, it's like too dark. Yeah, yeah. Don't think you can see that on the GoPro, but that looks absolutely beautiful. Last bit of sunset. Vadim's over there. We're about to have our last meal. Canned chicken noodles. Yum. You. <laughs> Smash it, bro. Probably the last canned chicken we'll have for a while. Oh, it looks crazy. I put a lot of flavor in there. Paprika, man. Bon appetit, yeah? Mm. Smudge snoho. Smudge snoho. Yeah. Smudge snoho. Smudge, no, that's hard to say. <laughs> Smudge snoho. Smudge snoho. What? <laughs> Smudge snoho. Yeah. Smudge snoho. So much snow. <laughs> <laughs> Itadakimasu. Whoa. What's going on here? What? So windy that my... Ah! It's actually real windy, bro, eh? It's pulling my hammock over. Something's happened here. Last night. Here. Wow. I might be getting blown around in here tonight. Something's gonna snap. <laughs> Whoa! Bit of chaos. All right, we made it. So windy tonight. I'm getting blown around like crazy. <laughs> you. All right, last night here. I gotta set an alarm. Alarm clock. 4:10. Alarm saved. Right, today was pretty awesome, man. Supposed to be the most chill day, which turned into the most crazy day. And yeah, I just feel so stoked to finally land one at that ledge that has just been like uncanny amounts of drama. Like anything that could go wrong due to the fact, which you guys probably know by now, like the terminal tackle is just failing me on every other big fish there. So it's good to finally not have something break on me because i never got snapped off before by getting reefed it's just something would always break on me and yeah vadim's got that bit of a curse at the moment and i've finally kicked it so stoked with that huge day we'll see what happens tomorrow morning eh have a good day good night or whatever else you're doing but yeah see you when i wake up see you when the alarm goes off beep 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 boom boom oh I should have forgot there's a disco party first. <laughs> Whoa! Boom. Morning guys. Last day here. We're at, well not even day, we're leaving like right away. Vadim's making a coffee, a last island brew coffee. You are. <laughs> Vadim's been cold every night of this trip, so I'll just randomly wake up at like two or three and he'll be outside standing <laughs> next to the ocean looking obliviously out into nothingness. <laughs> In between packing all our stuff, I'm thinking to try and fly the drone and film this sunrise because every morning it just looks so sick. But yeah, we'll try that. We'll fly the drone, get some epic sunrise shots. Ew. These are my noodles, lots of flavoring like usual. I'm in a bit of a rush here. I might actually just put the lid on, soak up the juices. Sunrise is coming up. Want to get that on the drone. Let's get ready to fly. What? Look at that. That's insane, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
<laughs> Almost into the tree, eh? I can't see. <laughs> Fuck it! Alright, that was it. The sunrise session on the drone. Sick! You. <laughs> Critically low battery warning. You gonna have a cast? Are you ready? Oh. For one more car. Oh wow, that colour's crazy, bro. Let's go and see if the dam hooks up. Just spotted a blue fin out here to the right. But Dem's gonna have a cast at it. What lure have you got on? Oh, the purple. It was following, eh? Yeah. It's crazy beautiful. If you get a fish, the colours are gonna look crazy. Oh, go out there. Oh, there's something there, eh? <laughs> I get my noodles. Yes! Yes, for Dem! Yeah, you're right. You're cool, you got him. Yes! <laughs> I just went and got my noodles and I was going to put the camera down and say we're going to watch for damn fish and he's got a fish the last morning bro <laughs> the morning tide I reckon it's a blue fin but you could be on a GT oh yeah you got him sick no it's a GT it's a yes I'll put my noodles down <laughs> the lucky noodles eh so good bro the colour behind you is incredible that's so sick, dude. GT, the last morning here. Yeah. That was, that was hammering bait right out front, and you're on that sunrise. That's so sick. Phew. Oh, we'll get him a, give yep. him a breather. Our last morning here. I was just happy to watch him fish, just hoping that he got a GT. And we saw something smashing bait here in the bay. Kind of just assumed it was a bluefin because I only yet really ever landed bluefin off this beach and a shark, but no GTs. Yeah, as soon as that black back came out of the water, I was like, oh, and you were like, GT. <laughs> Alright, see. Phew! We don't have more time today for fishing. Sadly, but yeah, maybe like soon we arrive and catch more. Yep. <laughs> Next time, eh? I'm gonna go back to eating my noodles, which Vadim disturbed me from eating because he caught a GT. <laughs> oh, oh, bad boy, bad boy. But this is now pretty urgent. I gotta eat this really quickly because if everything is on schedule, there's gonna be a boat coming pretty soon and we haven't even finished packing up. We haven't even started packing up actually. So yeah, noodles first, let's go. It's with the food tent and it has scorpions all in it. This is how we clean it out. Oh! No! I just broke the tent. Oops. Well, good thing is we weren't sleeping in this anyway. That right there, guys, is what happens when you play around. Broken tent peg. Um, first GT for this guy, and first landed GT from the spot from this guy. Not G G GTs. GTs. There's a few of yeah. them. That was crazy. Yeah, crazy. End of the trip. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel like if what coming will be okay. If not coming, <laughs> will be maybe better. Maybe better. <laughs> maybe one or... more good fish in the evening and in the morning. Stoked to see him get GT. Very last session on the very last day. No better ending than that. So yeah, until next time. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna live. The boat just arrived. <laughs> it's officially over now. Guys, <laughs> oh, I hate shallow. Wow, look at that, so clear. Yeah, the edge is like, I think we're just about to miss the edge and it goes like this, like that there. I, I mean like if you hook somewhere like here, it's like pretty. Yeah. I thought it was more like, more of like a ledge, but it's kind of more like this. Yeah, but only like problem if high tide. Oh, bite here too. Yeah, if high tide you need water. Yeah. But yeah, you can easily go. Bro, big! <laughs> Ew! 
<laughs> right, mate. Yes! Yes! Oh! He got it! Oh, look at the fight! Crazy fight, bro! Yes! That's awesome, man. Stick bait. Phew. Current killer. It's a giant flute fish. Humongous one. We're going to get this guy back, though. Let's go, mate. Oh! 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 Oh, get another camera! Oh, no, no, no. No. Big black GT. So stoked. Let's get him back, eh? Something here. Yep, bro, come on. Yep, a good fish. Sunrise session. We're getting back in. Oh! Yeah, I'm on! I'm on! Yep. Ah. Woo! One of the most beautiful fish in the ocean. It's a monster! It's a monster! Absolute monster! Woo! Nice, healthy silver GT. This guy's croaking. He wants to go back. Woo! Oh! That's huge! Oh, bro! That's a big one. It's one of those monsters. That's a monster. That's a monster, bro. Give it here. Woo! Absolute giant. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I want to get him back.